On playing fields all over England, the search is on for the young talent to restore our lost cricketing prestige. At Southampton, the future of Ivor Wallace, not yet 16, is already in the safe hands of Hampshire coach A.G. Holt. At the other end of the wicket, local schoolboy Tony Pothicare is one of the promising bowlers picked out for professional coaching by veteran Lofty Herman at the county ground. Our cricket fortunes are gloomier today than at any season since 1937, the last time England won a test against Australia. But in sport nurseries throughout the country, the young stuff is being moulded into the shape of future stars. Hampshire is the county where the game was born nearly 200 years ago. Today, Dawson, of the county side, coaches 13-year-old John Newman, who comes from a village not 50 miles from the world-famous cradle of cricket at Hamilton. Twenty-two lucky youngsters practice today where tomorrow they may be players. Dennis Fox is another who spends his out-of-school moments under expert tuition. To improve the standard of play and restore its old popularity with the fans, new ideas, from a narrower bat to a larger ball, are under review. But in cricket's home county, they believe there's only one sure way, catch them young. An eight-foot